I will always be a Red Raider. I was born to greatness high on the state plains. I am of West Texas, my roots pure pioneer. Founded where the sky is big and the dreams bigger. When I rose up inspired, hungry, ready to make my mark. I will always be a Red Raider. I answer to a special calling. I hear the hoof beat, the drum beat, and the heartbeat of all of those who came before me. We are unlike any other. No one shares what we share. No one owns the memories we own. I will always be a Red Raider. For the doors it opened, for the friendships it forged, for the learning it bestowed, for the lifelong lessons it taught, for the unlimited possibilities that came my way, for the unbreakable bonds of community I treasure, I will always be a Red Raider. To hear the ringing of the victory bells, to tailgate at the Fraser Alona Pavilion, to cheer myself hoarse for the scarlet and black, to watch the scoreboard light up against the horns, the Sooners, and the Bears. I will always be a Red Raider. So I can always be part loud and part proud. So I may carry the double T wherever I go. I will be a force for good wherever, whatever I do. Because it's not just where I went, it's who I am. I am a Texas Tech alumnus, my eternal family, and my everlasting love and I will always be a Red Raider. Without you, we wouldn't have a 90th birthday. We wouldn't have a 90th celebration, but we do because of members like you and your membership in supporting our alumni association, our staff, so we can also continue to support our university, Texas Tech University, that we have so many great fond feelings about and of, as was expressed earlier when Peggy was just reading that tribute. Great to be here on this occasion, the 90th anniversary. Uh, the stature of our university is built in a very critical way for the contributions of our alumni. Um, I think it's easy to lose sight of the fact that when you see what we accomplished in the last few years, um, it's, it's easy to diminish or forget how where we are today is on the shoulders of all those and all the things that have been accomplished by those alumni. Christina Butts organized uh, meetings with all of our members of our delegation. And um, as we go from office to office, you hear the praises of Texas Tech. Uh, you see many alumni who have a presence on the Hill, and their presence is very significant. But also, we met with many students who are interns there. And uh, we were in one, member, one member's office, and um, their staff, chief of staff, said to us, what are you doing at Texas Tech that produces these kind of students? Did we hear that? I'm, I, I'm not embellishing this in the slightest. They said, we've looked at your website and we've tried to see what's so special about the school that you produce the students who come here with a certain work ethic, who can read, who can communicate, and who are responsible. <laughs> We would think most universities are doing that, but Texas Tech does it in a special way. But it also reflects upon you. Um, uh, earlier this week, we were in uh, New York City where our chamber orchestra and the choir performed at the Lincoln Center. And it was, it was a magical <coughs> moment. Um, it, it was every bit the equal of that game in 2008. Like Michael <laughs> <laughs> and um, they don't give away standing ovations in New York City, but they earn one. And it was so neat to be standing outside the Lincoln Center on a very large um, poster, see Texas Tech Symphony and Choir in New York City. It's, mm -hmm. You can be so proud of what's happening, but you can also be so proud we are so thankful for which, how you remain connected and support the school. Now I'll conclude by this last comment. Um, two weeks ago we had graduation. More than 4,100 students walked. It's, it's an amazing experience uh, to see what it means to those students when they get their Texas Tech degree. And now they're part of, of, of this alumni association, more than 200,000 strong, that is so important to this university. We'll never get to where we want to be without your continued support and involvement. 
So I thank you for that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Christina, and all the members of the board for the great work you do, and go Tech. So now President Skubanek is going to lead us in a toast for happy birthday, and then we're going to kick off with a fight song, and then we also have cake coming out too. So please enjoy the rest of the night. I don't think I can add much to what Peggy already read, and since this is very extemporaneous, I'll just say here's to 90 years of wonderful tradition and friendship, and here's to the next 90. Yeah.